my Lady St. Colon. My Lord Rockingham. Are you looking for His Majesty? His Majesty is at his prayers. <laughs> if you're looking for your husband, Sir Harry is at his cups. Why are you looking for me? No, Harry. What is happening? William's army is 30 miles away. King James's army is trampling over itself in his haste to join William's army. But what is His Majesty doing? I don't know. Praying for divine intervention. You are Catholic, my dearest Donna. You will understand these things. You are Catholic too, Rock. Oh, yes, I forgot. Will you hear my confession? Your familiarity is insulting. You do not always find it insulting. Hasn't His Majesty given orders? Well, your husband is master of the King's horse, doesn't he, now? His Majesty's chambers are empty. What do you mean, my Lord Faversham, empty? I mean there's no one in them. The King has gone. Fred! He orders me to disband the army. So, my lords and ladies, look to your houses. So, the papist flees and the protestant advances. Whose God will save us now? Hurry, hurry, hurry. Joyous, you may change my life. Leave us. I said, leave us. But they're playing. He's playing, you're losing. No, no, the tide's turning. Lost my ring. Harry, I'm leaving London. No? Devil's luck. It's not fair. Priest playing. Divine invitation. <laughs> I'm leaving London. I'm taking the children. Sit down. James has fled. London will be dangerous. They are burning chapels. No. I'll protect you. Besides, I am sick of it here. I want clean air. Goodbye, Harry. Wait. Where will you go? Cornwall. Navarin. Donna, where are you going? Cornwall. Navarin. What are you doing? Praying, Mama. Praying for what? Well, deliverance from evil. Look! Watch that! That's the sea, Charlie. Watch the sea. It's home.
Hush, child. Grow up, Prudence. What do you want? Captain von Bost of the Royal Netherlands Army. At your service, my lady. Lady St. Colom, at yours. There are Irish soldiers about, my lady. Papists. The burning and looting. You are in no danger of us, my lady, whatever your faith. It's the one we hunt that are desperate. A silver cross will not stop them. Allow me to escort you. No. We are close to home. But I thank you. Let's go! We're too holy, child. They will not be expecting us, Thomas. My lady St. Kalam, this is unexpected. Who are you? My name is William. Who employed you? Your husband's last steward, my lady. Before he passed away. It's been ten years since you were last here. Things change. Even servants. I have travelled 300 miles and do not care to be kept waiting outside my own house. Get the other servants up. Get the children inside. I want them fed, watered, and put to bed. No, nope. get the horses seen to first. They have had the harder time of it. Send the housemaid to me. There are no other servants, my lady. I sent them home. You sent them home? There was nothing for them to do. You take a lot on yourself. Yes, my lady. If the children are not in bed, the horses stabled, and my supper ready within the hour, I will have you flogged and turned out. Yes, my lady. Is this all? Yes, my lady. You should not eat heavy before sleep. Perhaps I will not have you flogged this minute. No, my lady. Tomorrow will do well enough.
Who are you? Lucy, Your Majesty. I am not Your Majesty. What do you do? I'm your maid, my lord, lady. Have you been a lady's maid before? No. Yes. No, my lady. Send me William. Yes? Good morning, my lady. It is not. I do not wish to be pulled and pushed about by that girl. I want a lady's maid now. There are none to be had. Lucy is quick, has quick hands. With my ladyship's good grace, she will learn quickly. Do you speak French, William? Yes, my lady. Her mother was Breton. Ready? What horse, my lady? Any horse that is mine, ready in half an hour. Come on, Charlie. Tell me about this rivet.
do you mean by this? Are you kidnapping me? You are trespassing on my land. Let me go this instant. I am not trespassing. We are at war, so I'm invading. You will be hung for a spy. If I am caught, probably. You will be caught. I will never be caught, Lady Donna St. Colombe. You know my name? After all, I have slept in your bed. You are insufferably bold, sir. And you are coarse. And this from the lady who goes drinking, gaming, bear baiting, dog fighting throughout London. What is your name? Do I embarrass you? Have you come to Cornwall as a penance or to live as a hermit? C'est la bourrée. Il y a des soldats partout. Ne reste ici. Wait! Tout le monde sur la cour! Ne t'inquiète pas pour elle. M'inquiéter Mais si, elle va nous trahir. Je ne vais pas vous trahir. Well, well, Lady St. Colombe, we can have no secrets from you. St. Colombe, she's Rockingham's mistress. She's dangerous. I am not Rockingham's mistress. It is what all London thinks. London does not know. Ne t'inquiète pas, Philippe. She has come to Cornwall to be a nun. Il faut l'emmener avec nous. No. Leave me here. I have no interest in your little intrigues. C'est trop risqué, Aubery. The risk is mine. Va voir Pierre, il s'occupera de tes blessures. Repose-toi un peu. Why will you not betray us, Lady St. Colombe? Do you think I might come to your house and kill you? Like I killed those men? Their bodies will betray you. Their bodies will be moved. Let me go, sir. My children are my surety. I would not bring danger on their heads. You already have. Monsieur Laboré believes we should not let you go. I presume Monsieur Laboré is a spy. He is too accustomed to betrayal. Whereas you are still a novice. And intend to remain one. Your imprisonment has been most hospitable, sir. But let me go back to my home and we will not trouble each other again. 
as you wish. William. I went for a walk. I got lost in the woods. Yes, my lady. May I say it's brought out the colour in your cheeks. Only if you want a flogging. Yes, my lady. The children were asking for you. I told them you were in bed with a headache. Thank you, William. I can feel it returning even now. I'll have some chicken broth sent up to you. And may I suggest the back stairs? You may. I had an adventure today. Yes, my lady. You do not smoke, do you? No, my lady. A noxious habit. I smoke. A noxious habit in men, in women. Utterly charming. William, are you a Jesuit? I was beaten by them as a child. I'm sure it amounts to the same thing. William, can I trust you? Yes, my lady. But I think you already have a master. I know, or I can guess what has been happening here. What I do not know is what I should do. To do nothing brings the risk of exposure on mine and my children's heads. Treachery and betrayal are not easy to live with. I will serve you faithfully, my lady. Someday you may have to make a choice. I hope it does not come to that. Visitors. It is Lord Godolphin, my lady, your nearest neighbour and the Lord Lieutenant of the county. Oh, damn and blast him. Am I presentable, William? No, my lady. Good. Hello, William. Hello, Prudence. My Lady St. Columb. My Lord Godolphin. Have you been attacked? No, no. Just a walk. A walk? <laughs> my wife, my good Jane, was so desirous of coming to Navarin to pay her respects and quite desolate that she could not. She's expecting, you see. The poor thing. But she must be used to childbearing by now. Oh, no. No, this is her first. The first of many, I hope, seeing as she is but 17. 17? My, my lord, you are a cradle robber. <laughs> yes, indeed, ladies and Colum. My charms are not quite rusted away. <laughs> I am sorry Harry is not here, but business keeps him in London. I understand. Stirring times, the king to be crowned, etc. Which king? Which king? Why, William, of course. Good King Billy. The damn papist James hitched up his skirts and ran to France, the dog. I am a papist, my lord. Are you? Well, so are some good men, I'm sure. 
toleration. That's the thing, isn't it? Eh? <laughs> anyway, I am here because we are at war with France. King Louis is supporting James. We expect an invasion. Most likely he'll land in Ireland, for they're all wretched knee-benders there. Well, no offence. But the invasion could come here as well. He could do as King Billy did and land in the West. So, we must be vigilant. Vigilant? Even here, my lord. But a week ago, a French spy slipped through our fingers and was picked up by a damn pirate off this very coast. A pirate? The same blackguard who raided our farms, our shipping, our women, right through the peace. Oh, Lord. He's the very devil. A raping, plundering, cowardly sort of devil. I do not believe you are safe here, on your own. I believe I am safe. I wish you would bid Harry come down to see to his estates. Harry never does as I bid. I do not believe that, my lady. I hope you will do my Lady Jane the pleasure of visiting us at Helston. Rustic ways, you know, but we like them. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 William. I came here to escape society, not have it foist upon me. If more visitors come, I am not at home. Yes, my lady. His wife is 17. Can you imagine, William? I will try not to, my lady. <laughs> Wine, please. Lady Saint Colomb. It's a poor day for riding. Indeed, it is. If you will excuse me, gentlemen. I thought you had given up drinking in taverns. What are you doing here? Sheltering from the rain. I have only to say one word. Then say it. on these coasts long before the war began. Sadly, that is true. Then I was a pirate, and now I'm a patriot. I do not see the difference. Where is your country, Lady St. Colombe? Is it with the Dutch king in London and his soldiers next door? Or with the English king, exiled in Paris? The rain has stopped, my lady. I wish you Godspeed. And you, sir. My lady. Is that your answer? Don't presume on my silence again. Good day.
Oh. You are evil. Get to your bed. Get to your bed at once. Charles, stay here. I will pray for you. Oh, come on, Charles. Am I such a bad mother, William? You love your children, my lady. Why does religion make such beasts of us? I do not know, my lady. I have no religion. Isn't your master a Catholic? He might be. Religion does not concern him. What drives him, then? These risks he takes. He has no love for the English, my lady. We did not think you would come, my lady. You have rather kept to yourself at Navron. The children, my lord. They take up so much of my time, as you will shortly find. <laughs> or is it that you think we're a bunch of homespun rustics, country cousins, eh? Not at all. You forget that I'm just as Cornish as you. Well, of course you are. Of course. Your father and mine fought each other in the Civil War, if I recall. But I will be politic and not recall who won. Killigrew! You turned two pages at once. Uh, did I, my dear? I'm so sorry. Now I have to start again. Dolphy, you do it. Rashley, Baronet, at your service, Lady St. Columba. I am pleased to meet you, sir. Though we have met already. Have we? Your secret is safe with me. What secret would that be? The inn at Helford? Doubtless you had your reasons. Yes, it was raining. I was wet. A gentleman would have introduced himself at the time, sir. But perhaps you had your own reasons for wanting to keep your presence there secret. I did, as it happens. Matters of war the catching of a French privateer. Oh, yes. I've heard about the Frenchman. So tell me, why is it so difficult for you to catch one man? Oh, we will have him, believe me. We will lay a net along the coast that a rat could not escape. It was unwise of your husband to let you down here alone, my lady. Allow me to call on you. I can protect you. And while I protect you, I can entertain you. Come near Navron, and I will set my dogs on you. What are you doing? He's wounded. 
I must leave him here so William can look after him. So my house is not only your home, but your hospital also. He will not survive at sea. I ask you to have pity on him. On him, yes. But why on you? I asked you not to presume. Yet you bring danger into my very house, onto my children's heads. William, who do you choose now, your master or your mistress? Please, my lady. Who? Then I must be with him, my lady. You will need dressings. Some water. Now I see why Labouré said you were dangerous. Why did you come to Cornwall, Lady St. Colombe? To escape, I suppose. To escape what? The world. And myself. What I had become. Have you escaped? Between the desire and the deed, Donna, such a deep ocean. Perhaps. What business have you with Godolphin? Would be safer for you if my plans remained secret. I am hiding one of your men in my cellar, giving you my husband's wine. I am risking enough to deserve some confidences. King James has landed in Ireland. Ships are being gathered to carry William's army to fight him. One of those ships is called Offense. I intend to steal it. Take me with you. <laughs> no. You've committed treason enough tonight. Godolphin inflicted his company, his simpering wife, and the insults of his friends on me for three hours. So I want to steal his ship. This is the extent of your politics. Don't you want to fight for your exiled king? Who are you fighting for? William said, you do not love the English. William is too free with his tongue. Why do you fight, Obery? Why do you risk your life? To know I'm alive? Who is Claire Kilmarin Obery? The name in the book. Is she your wife? My mother. She was Irish. Kelmarin was her family name. Cromwell's troops killed her. Burned the house I was born in. My father lost to Cromwell also. His house was burned. How will you explain? William will say that I am ill and not to be disturbed. He is a good dissembler, as you know. Take me with you. There are two harbors, the outer, the inner. 
Soldiers are stationed here. The Aurora is here. But with the soldiers there, how will you get into the harbor? They expect danger from the sea. So we will land here and march overland. We will blow up the stores, and there will be confusion enough for us to take the ship out. Do your plans always work? Not always. They're waiting for you, you know. Godolphin and his friends. Good. Bon, vous savez ce qu'il vous reste à faire. Allez en avant. You look beautiful, but we should get you some different clothes. Thank you. If you are killed, or worse, captured, and shot and disgraced, and you hanged, then you might not thank me. Allez, dépêchez-vous à droite! Allez, va maintenant, protège-la de ta vie. Sir, Captain says he wishes to put her to sea. What the devil for? The French pirate's been seen. Captain wants to get out and after him, sir. We, we got to tow her out. Wind's against us. What are you skulking there for, boy? Come into the light where I can see you. What's going on, Rashley? Some damn fool story about the frog pirate Masterson wants to put to sea. Well, then let him. Who's sent to tell you? Some mumbling brat. Get your damn ass in the light, boy. He told me to be sharp, sir. He said to tell the soldiers we'd be towing her out. Get back here! 
Come back, damn you! Stop bawling, Rashley. Give him the signal and let him go.
Breakfast, my lady. What time is it? Three. In the afternoon. Is the Aurora safe? My men have taken her to France. Where are my clothes? Ah. Uh, they have been washed and returned to their owner. As a member of the crew, you are fined 14 francs for losing his shoes. But also, as a member of the crew, your share of this prize is in the order of 1,400 francs. So it was a good night's work. Who removed my clothes? Eat something, Donna. I don't want to eat on. The wind took us close to France as well. I thought of keeping you a prisoner there. I want to know what... Shh. But I decided I should return you to your home. Because, as you told me... Hmm? have children. Why did you kiss me? Do you want more bread? By the wall, in the harbor. I know where I kissed you. Why? To calm your fear. I was not afraid. Oh, yes. You were until I kissed you. <laughs> It was an unwarrantable presumption. It was. I'm very ashamed. You taste so funny. That is hardly surprising. Sleep. Frenchmen always sleep between one and five in the afternoon. Always sleep? Do you want to sleep?
Tell me about your husband. Are you jealous? Curious. Such a liaison. I was young. He made me laugh. And I liked his eyes. You were easily won. Not so easily. Nor kept. This is what the trail is about, isn't it? You wanted to escape. You knew there would be a price. My husband, Harry, the good fellow. He marched with James to face William. He watched James's army melt away. He said men would swear their loyalty to James at dinner and to William at breakfast. His world turned upside down, but he stayed true. What about your world? I'm bound to the people I betray. That is why I stay unbound. So in the morning, your old children will wake you in your bed at Navarin. And I'm wet. We'll have sail with the tide. Will she come back? No. I do not want her to go. Her or her captain. Tonight is midsummer. The longest day. The shortest night of the year. I have not gone yet. yesterday at sundown. I've been waiting for you. They arrived. Lord Rockingham is with him. I told Sir Harry you'd caught a chill of Lord of the Dolphins, that you were a bed with a fever, that it would be most detrimental to your health were you disturbed. Good, William. But you must get word to Obery. Warn him about Rockingham. He must leave. He must leave now and not come back. I will, my lady. Forgive me. My word, Donna, but you do look fine. I don't feel fine. You've got a colour on you like a gypsy. What's all this about a fever? Not letting any of the servants near you, apart from that moon-faced wretch. Damn it, it's warm already. I'm sweating through this shirt. No, but you don't look very ill, you know. Harry. What are you doing here? Me? Here? Uh, there's a message from Godolphin. Profound concern for you on your own. Grievous misapprehensions, etc. He had no need to concern himself. Plus some stuff about French ships, county in peril, rape, robbery, etc. Godolphin is an old woman. Anyway. Rock said we must come down, said you needed protecting, so here we are. Aren't you pleased to see me, Donna? Not at all? No. No, I'm not. Go away so I can get up. 
Oh, you, you're going to get up? When you've left the room. Send Lucy to me. Devil's that? It's George Dolphy. Some soldiers. This must be rocks doing. <laughs> He's close rock. He's on the rise. Secret commissions, etc. King William trusts him. So did King James. We had him trapped at the entrance, but he laid gunpowder in the warehouses. Next thing is, the harbour's ablaze. The devil gets a lucky puff of wind and he's blown out of our reach. Gentlemen. Ah, Donna, my love. And Charles. You know the gentleman, I believe. Godolphin brings extraordinary news. I heard. Is it that brute of a Frenchman you were trying to catch? The same. He has the luck of the devil. My lords, you have ridden far. Would you care to take some food? We have things to do, my lady. Patrols to send up, pickets to set. We've got the men now, and we've narrowed down his hiding places. To where? To the area surrounding Navron, my lady. We believe he has a refuge on this coast and allies ashore, Donna. Traitors who shelter him and his crew. He does sound desperate. I'm so glad you have come, Harry. Yes, I'm come, sweetness, and we'll catch this fellow and string him up for you. Scaring my own dove. We'll pull his guts out here, Charlie. <laughs> There's a man in the cellar. What? There's a wounded man in the cellar. What, Hetty? Henry, has to go back to your room at once. There's a wounded man in the cellar. What's going on? Who's in my cellar, damn you? Henrietta, what is all this nonsense about? Why don't you go and have a look? Hi. Damn me, if you're playing a game, Hetty, I'll have the skin off your back. Come with me now. Come, show me. Is Pierre still there? He could not be moved, my lady. Thank God, over he has sailed. He has not sailed. What? Who the devil is he? Bring him out here. Come on, let's get him out. Let him bleed to death. Now he'll damn well talk. But he is hurt. And if he has some more. Donna. My lady. Lord Rockingham is downstairs. He suspects me and you. What has happened to Oberry? Lamoette was holed below the waterline as she was leaving the creek. He must wait for low tide to repair her. I will get a message to him, my lady. Take care. Rockingham is waiting for you to do just that. What if Pierre... How is she, eh? Damn you. I believe she is recovering. Should we send for a doctor? Bleed her a little? That won't be necessary, my lord. Well, what do you know about it, you creeping bastard? Harry. What is going on, Harry? Oh, that damn fellow won't talk. But how did he come to be in my house? Well, I'll tell you one way. Harry, might... let Donna rest. We want her at dinner, don't we? Mm. That man. What will they do to him? Tomorrow he will be hung, drawn and quartered. And then you'll be safe. Thank you, Rock. I'm so glad you're here. Is that sincerity, Donna? Come on, Rock. You said let us sleep, damn it. Silence.
They're building a scaffold for passes I can watch. Are you mine? How can you be? I don't want to be yours. They're going to hang him. Yes. But he is a good Catholic. So he will go straight to heaven. Whereas you will burn in hell for betraying him, my dearest daughter. Taking an evening walk, Donna. Rockingham. Why are you smelling that? Daisies have no scent. Don't they? No. I thought it might make me seem bucolic and charming. <laughs> I'm afraid it doesn't. Are you glad to see me? Of course I am. Then kiss me. I cannot, people would see. <laughs> no, they won't see. Donna. I ache for you. I need you now. I cannot. My husband. Your husband is a fool. You never gave a thought to him before. Kiss me. You forget yourself. I remember one kiss. Very clearly, I remember it. One. One kiss. For which I hate myself even more than I hate you. So that is how things stand. I'm glad that is clear. You're a better actor than I thought, fainting at the sight of blood indeed. <laughs> Tell me, Donna, where does a Frenchman hide his ship? I do not understand you, sir. Don't you? No matter, it'll all come out. Come, Donna. Let us change for dinner. You have a special guest tonight, the King's new emissary. Who might that be? Me. Now, ain't that grand? <gasps> what happened? I went down to the creek. A soldier caught me. What has he done? He's only a flesh wound. And he's dead. Stay with him. Because I did not get to him. What? He does not know? No, and there are soldiers searching every inlet. He will be caught. He will not be caught. They will be waiting for you at dinner. My lady, let's get ready. Yes. But first, we must see to your arm. to do, Dolphy. She wants to improve our morals. Yeah. So she started with the Sabbath. Anyone gets caught carrying a pie in the street on the Sabbath? Constables have to stop them. Take the pie away. A pie or a pudding. Forces her own papa into exile and takes away our pies. Jane says I eat too many pies. <laughs> Why are you so sure that the Frenchman is still here, my lord? Because, my dear lady, only last night his ship was seen heading for land hereabouts and was not seen sailing away again. It is a matter of time, my lady. As I said, a rat could not slip this net. Yeah, On the other hand, with one of his men to be hanged tomorrow, he may come to Navron to attempt a rescue. For one man, he would be a fool. He would be foolhardy. But that is the reason for his success. <laughs> Who else would dare cut out Lord Godolphin's ship from a guarded harbour? That was the devil's own luck. And the devil's skill. Speaking of the devil, Donna, where's that pasty fellow William? I would have expected him to be waiting at table. Perhaps he has been taken ill. Not another of those pesky fevers, I hope. I do not know. 
I'm not privy to my servants' ailments. Well said, Donna. I'll wager you ten guineas, Rockingham, at the French you will not show. But he will be... Sit! Sit! Good evening, my lady. Gentlemen. My men have seen their shipmate. And they would be happy to revenge him. Not good, Sir Harry. Your merchant is cheating you. I believe I will take your ten guineas rashly. Uh, my Lord Godolphin, that handsome ring, sir. And I must thank you for the gift of the Aurora. King Louis was most gratified. You'll hang for this. Perhaps. Is this all you are, a common thief? But I steal from the best. Don't you touch her! Be easy, Sir Harry. Sit, sir. These rubies now, each one, will pay for a troop of men. A troop of men to put your rightful king back on his throne. Surely, that must please you, gentlemen. James is finished. England supports the new king. But England's loyalties are like yours, Rockingham. They change in a heartbeat. No, not Sir Harry. I have robbed him off enough. Now, gentlemen, you know the cellar, I believe. Up. Retourne au bateau, ne m'attendez pas. You touch me. No, not Lady Saint Colomb. The cellar is dank and full of rats. Faut ramener Pierre au bateau, vite. The woods are full of soldiers. I know. Rockingham expected you here. I know, and he suspects you. He does not watch me, he watches you. Come with me. Unlock this door! Let us out! I thought I'd be free always. But you have bound me. I will betray any country, any king. Come with me. I cannot. I'm afraid. Oh, no, no. You have never been afraid. That's why I love you. You love me. I will wait on the tide. Where the river meets the sea. Where the water changes color. I will wait. Thank you, child. Let me go first, my lords. The Frenchman's mine. Right, where's your bitch of a mother? Let go of her. Oh, no, Donna. I think Hetty will tell me the truth. Tell me, child, was your mother sick of bed? Let her go. Was she? No, she was never in a bed. Where was she? I don't know. Who was she with? I don't know. Who? Who was she with? Hmm? Who was she with? At least one person will hang tomorrow, my treacherous Donna. But the Frenchman is free. And he gave me, ah, oh, he gave me such delight. You whore. 
but not your haul. Back for me on the gun, I'm stuck. I will hang happy knowing that you never touched me! <laughs> He attacked Mama, Lord Rocky, and tried to save her. Jesus, blood! We must get after him. It is all right, my love. You will not escape. I'm going. No, 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 you must stay. Please, my love, you will not.
They have caught him, haven't they? Yes. Yes, we did. My love? The children want to see you. I told them to hold their horses. Very well, then. I'll send them in. That blasted foxy servant of yours slipped away in all the fuss. They're taking the Frenchman away for trial. Godolphin and Rashley were all for executing him here, but orders came from Exeter. They're sending some damn Dutchman down to escort him. Oh, they'll hang him, sure enough. Dolphy ain't pleased not to get a chance at it. The children, Harry. Yes, yes, the children. Prudence, what are you doing here? I was looking for you, my lady. It's William. William? Yes, me and Thomas. We got him to a house in the village. You and Thomas? Yes, my lady. We don't care if he's a Frenchie or not. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Prudence. It's all right, my lady. I love him. How are you, William? Very well, my lady, but you should not be here. It's too dangerous. That does not matter. What about Obery? What do you know? He's being held in Lord Godolphin's keep. In two days, he'll be taken to Exeter, unless Godolphin and the others get to him first. Could that happen? That is the talk in the village, my lady. Can you get a message to La Mouette? Yes, my lady. my chains. Kill 20 men, grow wings and fly. Yes, whatever it takes. I will set you free. But will you be free with me? Because if not, why should I leave? You will not come. Yes, I will come. We will both break our chains. We will sail La Mouette together to Finisterre, to the world's end. I shall always be with you. Je t'embrasse. When they take you from here, I'll be there. I love you.
Harry. <sighs> I was not. Excellent fellow, Dryden. Yep, Dryden. Shall I read to you? I want you to take the children and go back to London. What? When? Tomorrow. I will shut up the house and then return myself. I, I, I promised Charlie he'd see this fellow hang. It'll be his first hanging. There will be others, I am sure. I want you to go. No, I'm, uh, I'm not leaving you here. There are all sorts of rumours flying, tongues wagging, and you know the kind then of thing a gentleman would want... Then you will prove your for the rumours by leaving! On this, I am inflexible. Well, then. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Shame, girl. Don't make a fool of yourself. That's my lady. Could you tell him that... Well, Donna. Well, Harry. My love, I am such a fool. Van Basten. My lords. Well, well, Frenchman, here comes your fall. 
My lady sent Colomb. My lord Rashley. It was you on the ship. Have you come to hang beside your captain, Donna? Let him go. This is treachery. I saw the king's men dead on the road. Whose treachery was that? Let him go and I will say nothing. stomach for this. I didn't. You see for yourself, the Frenchman has made a whore of your wife. Did you know that? Yes. Then help me put a rope around her neck. We can hang them together. I had in mind something else. You better go. Your ship will be waiting. Go. Damn you. You are a good man. No. But I'm not false. Nor would I keep any woman against her will. Go. not coming. I understand. Where will you go? To finish there. I will try to forget you. You won't. I know.
when I've come home. Thank you.